The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, this is October the 19th, Tuesday, and we're looking at the Dow up 109, and what's really important about this is that it is trying to get to the left side high, and that's in this cup formation, the pattern that I'm going to be teaching and talking about tonight in my webinar at 4 o'clock, 4 to 5, 30 this afternoon actually, Eastern Time. And the high that we're looking at right here is on the 30th of August of 35,510. The high today is so far 35,400. It's trying to get there. It's only a leg C. I say only because it means in the Chapman Wave buy mode, this should, you should be able to go to at least a D. Uh, we, we remain long the diamonds in the core position, the very long term. And the short term position, we have gone back long, to the long side. And we're going to be watching this very closely. Why? Because this weekly chart has the pattern that I call the falling axe. Let me just show you this quickly. You make a high. You start to make lower highs and much lower lows. Then it suddenly finds support and it starts to break out above that trend line. It can do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside to retest the previous high. Wait a minute. Where are we? We've broken out on a weekly basis last week just a tad above. This week so far, it's only Tuesday. We haven't, not even Tuesday, we've just begun Tuesday, and it is higher, and that's really important. But look at this monthly chart for a peak D with a big red candle, but still way, way um, in the upper stratosphere. Uh, the all time high of 35,631, with us less than 300 points uh, from that, with the rest of October to go. This is going to be a really important week. So we're watching this really closely, and I'll explain why as we go through each of the sectors. So we've got the Dow, and that's the Dow 30. Remember, it has nothing to do with the Dow Industrials, its original namesake, but it is called the Industrials. I call it the Dow 30. That's all it is. It's a fantastic mix. I've said it is the perfect mix for this mega bull market because it has every single thing you could ever want to have in it. It's got uh, software, Microsoft. It's got Home Depot uh, housing. It's got banks. It's got, it's just got everything. It's got Disney. I mean, what else could you do? Oh, Disney. Someone asked me about Disney. Could I have a look at Disney? Yeah, Disney has this pattern that I call the inverted Chapman wave falling axe. We saw that in the GDX. It says that if you go all the way in a Chapman buy mode to a peak D and then break down from the higher lows and much higher highs to an arch formation, there's a chance that you could form a base above the previous major low, and that's the low of 167.10. I'll talk about this more in my uh, webinar this afternoon. But it does say that once you're underneath this trend line, you can stay there for quite a bit. Look at the GDX. We discussed this. It had the inverted uh, Chapman wave falling X. Oh, there. Right. It is. There it is. And then we came tumbling down in this particular case. It went to a D. And the, the selling in the gold was so severe that we went from the 33, about 50 area, all the way down to 28.83. And then reversed up. Uh, we're actually along from the 8th of October at 30.74 is trading right now, 32.69. Made a peak C, it should make a, a leg D above uh, 32.93. I do not like, this is the GDX gold miners uh, vectors ETF. I do not like a peak D underneath the previous high. I want to see you go powerfully above that. Uh, otherwise, you probably stall. But in the meantime, this is what we're looking at. Let's get back to our story. So we're looking at the S&P. We're now we're going to be looking at the QQQ. The QQQ, a nice leg, beat to the upside, broke the Chapman Wave falling axe resistance and Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It's nicely above that. This whole area, it's at 374.07. This whole area of uh, the three, hmm, now I'd have to say 369 to 367 is going to be support this week if there is a sudden turn down. But it's helping the weekly chart. It's still lagging the Dow and, and uh, the S&P. Look at the IWM. Uh, this is the Russell 2000 small caps. What were we looking at here? We're looking at nothing because it didn't come through. There it is. Right on the Chapman Wave inside track, it was the repellent zone. 
then it became a propellant zone, and now we're right on that border. And it is at a peak sea. There should be an attempt, at least, to try to get to uh, above the 15th, as two days ago, above the high of 228.41. It's going to be tough. It's at 225.22 right now. Let's see what happens. Meantime, all I'm, I'm going to say is I'm going to be discussing in my webinar coming up this afternoon the narrow, uh, uh, the narrow, this is it, look right here. Let me just draw it. There it is. There. The narrow rectangle and the wide rectangle, the differences, and you can consider this is the wide rectangle in the daily here with an attempt in a cup formation, a little bit a little bit lopsided cup formation that says it could try to get back to the 229.84 um, September high. That's not the all-time high, it's a September high, but it's going to take a little while. Uh, we're going to be watching this closely because within the rectangle and the big large one, you can get a cup formation in the long wide rectangle, sorry, in the long narrow rectangle, narrow because we're looking at it on a monthly basis. Uh, this can go on for a lot longer than your patience. Let's go to gold. See if gold's holding the gain that it had earlier on. Uh, it's holding most of it. It's up 12. It's 1777. Um, I want to see oh, if after this it can get to a leg D above 1803. Did I say 18? Yes. 1803, the 200 period exponential moving average that was the repellent area at peak C. That's going to be really important. I suspect it might be stuck in this range, but wow, have a look at the silver. Silver is saying, I, I love to alternate between gold and silver for you folks who are looking at the metals, and I can confuse the heck out of you, but don't forget. I'm my independent person, and I was saying earlier on, I'm making a cup formation. Peak A, pull back for three bars. Peak B, pull back for two bars. Third bar spikes to leg C, pull back for one bar, and we've got a leg D. So it is a D, and it's underneath the previous high, and that was the high of the 3rd of September, 24.94. And remember yesterday I had a caller um, in our YouTube, Tiger YouTube, and uh, they were, they were, uh, the question was GDX. And I said, yep, get started with the GDX because I love to see the gold miners ETF move, not gold. I want to see the gold miners. Very often gold is to follow the miners. I like this action. I like it as a trade. I don't know yet if this is really the long-term position. It did do the one-to-one. -one. Chapman May falling axe to the downside and the one-to-one -one expansion to the downside. Did everything perfectly. That's the reason why we got in. The MACD was strong. Stochastic was rising. Now it's at 90% and flat. I like that. All right? It doesn't mean to say it's going to go to the moon. It just says, nice, because you've got a change of trend in the shorter term. The weekly chart's going to take a lot for me to call that a change of trend just yet. So let's just go to, we've got a lot of questions coming my way. Let's just go to high-grade copper. So now the questions yesterday was, is there a chance for a double top in copper? And I said, there is a, a chance of a double top because we're going to be looking at that in the chances that the Dow is making. I'm only talking chart patterns now. Remember the, the U-shaped pattern that we're looking at in the Dow? says there's a chance we could get close to the left side high. I also will talk about this afternoon, the patterns that I'm looking at for the rest of the year. Just to sum it up real briefly, I think the, the Dow is going to continue to lead. I think the S&P will follow. I think the Qs and the SMHs, the semiconductors, are going to still remain somewhat weak. And therefore, we could be looking at a rotation going on for quite some time. Where was I before I... Oh, high-grade copper. So let's look at high-grade copper. Oh, we've got a break coming up. I'm not going to do it. High-grade copper is down to subtraction at 4.7. I'll be right back. That's a chapter. I was about to 29. S&P's are to go Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com.
TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So let's just look at copper. A couple of things about copper. The weekly chart broke out of that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, made the cup formation. I actually wanted to draw this in, and for some reason, I never did. And that would have been the left side, right side price time match to the 4.8975 high that was made back in around about 8, 8 May. Um, so let me just do that now because what I'm going to be doing tonight, I'm going to be showing you how we do this. So I like to draw. A, a trend line that takes into effect uh, previous highs. Well, this one would have broken. It's called the Chap Wave Inside Track, so Inside Wedge Target Repellent Line. So what I would do is, because this is obvious that it would be real tough to make a one-to-one -one so quickly, I would go to a, a doji-type candle right here, and I'd say this is what I'd be heading towards in the high-grade copper. I'm going to do this live right now because this is what I'm be doing. I'm showing tonight. These are techniques that we use. I show subscribers every day. We've got them. I've got one that we've missed. Uh, I'm prepared to show that, even though I like it a lot and we would like to get in. It's already had a big move. We just missed it yesterday. So here we go. So this is Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. Green on the way up, pink on the way down, and it went just above it. For those two bars in the weekly chart and it says by the week of the 12th of november remember i like to be a little conservative so i'm, I'm stretching it out a little bit 4.89 should be a target well the magd in the daily is really strong the moving average convergence divergence the stochastic is flat and wonderful at 92 percent on balance volume has given you the pullback when it was oversold but the price hasn't moved very much so I, when you say double, for those of you about three or four people have asked me about double tops in copper, what I'm saying is be ready for some kind of a double top, but don't trade like there's got a double top when, when in fact we haven't got any signals yet. Even the MACD in the weekly finally is cross positive and the monthly one is actually very good. I suspect we're going to go to a leg C in copper above 4.897 in the continuous contract. Remember, it gets smoothed out every month. This is what I've got right now. The price changes, but the patterns, the uh, nothing changes. The MACD, nothing changes other than it gets smoothed out for the price. Now, this is going to be very important. Why? Because there's a doji candle, but we're only at 
beginning Tuesday of the whole week. Let's see what happens later on. I suspect there could be a bit of a pullback here into the 4.61. Uh, let's go to the 6.63 level. It's at 4.72 right now. If it goes under that, we'll have to deal with it. But right now, I still see it. And if you're looking at SC, uh, SCCO, it's made a peak D, but it's having a high-level consolidation. If you're looking at TGB, Taseco Mines, Oh, SCCO is a copper. I forgot what. Uh, let me tell you. T Taseco Mines, great move. It's in a leg. E, probably a peak E, but everything about it is terrific at 2.29 down three cents. SCCO, let's just do that again. It's called uh, Southern Copper, of course. I forgot about that. And I haven't done anything in, in the, the monthly chart has made a peak A. I think the upper my says it's a peak B. 83.15. And 83.29. I see the eye when you do this enough times, you can tell these fractional differences even in a long term monthly chart. And we pull back, and now we saw a, a bit of a rally. And a rally might be getting started, I don't know, but it, as it stands right now, this is excellent action. So don't, you can think about the copper part of it as a double top. I would not trade it right now until I get the signals. And look, the 200 period moving average of 62.65 uh, in Southern Copper, and it's at 65.13. That's a big distance to come down to test the 200 period moving average. So far, Copper is still acting very well. The day is young. Anything can happen. This is where you'd expect some kind of a pullback in the daily. But that weekly chart is just starting to strengthen. So I'm just saying think double top. Don't act double top until you get the signals because you can be uh, you can be twisted uh, very quickly. Let's go to our caller. We've got Mark in Ford Collins. Mark, how are you? Good, Basil. How are you? I'm fine, and I see you bringing up uh, a stock that we had. We lost a little money in it. I couldn't understand why you are looking at HHR, right, which is Headhunter Correct. Group PLC. So, yep. folks, I thought it went to a peak B. It could have been an alternate account, E slash B. I called it a peak B. We started a long position of 56.02 on the 12th. The 12th was right here because I thought it should hold and try to get into uh, the leg of the 7th, which went to 54.83. Instead, and this is, I mean, in this particular time frame, with r folks hunting and hunting for headhunters, um, I mean, for, for, for the job situation. And I looked at RHI, which is, uh, this is Robert Half International Jobs, had the same pattern. I thought, gosh, these guys should be doing so well. And said they both pull back. Uh, Robert Half is in a much better situation right now. It's at 109.70, spool back uh, 70 cents from yesterday's high, made 111. Uh, D, uh, point 10 P D, same day as uh, HHR. And now I'm going to say, because Mark, I know that you you treat these things with due diligence and you follow them closely. Did you start a buy uh, on HHR yesterday, may I ask? I did. Well, on the, on the uh, test, of the, test of the 50 EMA and the close back above the 14, I decided to take a Take a shot at it, since you usually have a pretty good eye. And if you thought it was a B before, I thought maybe we have a chance of getting to a C and a D leg. So, and I'm wondering if we're doing a potential falling axe breakout so, today if we right, can so close above that line. <clears throat> so that's good, what I'm looking at. Good, good question. So here we are. HHR. Uh, let me just finish the drawing of this. HHR is trading at 54.91. It's up a dollar 15. Really, really nice uh, action. But that the deepness of that down thrust uh, from the 57, what did I say it was, 50, 5803 level down to 51, I mean, seven points, that's what, 12%. Uh, yeah, 5126. <laughs> that was a big pullback. So I love the fact that you waited for the rebound. You, you got it on the rebound. It allows you a little room because you can put your stop either a break even or even give it a little room, maybe 50 cents or something. But this is exactly the action you want to look at. That's number one. Number two is 
There is a Chapman wave falling axe formation. So that's the pattern that we were looking at. Let me just show this once again for those of you just start, uh, seeing the show. Uh, that means you've got making lower highs and much lower lows, and then you turn around, find a base, and then you take out that first trend line resistance, which, of course, I also double up with because I draw it as uh, once I see it's in, in, in play, I turn into something even more uh, decisive. I turn it into a, uh, why does it not do that? I turn it into, there it is, new parallel. I turn it into a Chapman wave inside track repellent propellant line or zone. And here it is. It's just testing the outer outer limit. I love this chart. I love the fact that it's in an area that should be working and it wasn't working. But now it's saying, whoops, I didn't get the, the message until yesterday. Please forgive me because now I'm acting well. So if you hold on, I'll give you what you need to be looking for because this is the exact action that you wanted to see today, but it's only an hour into the session. So I'll tell you what to look for if you can hold on. Okay. We'll be back. Now's up 120. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Dallas up 134. We're going to go back to Mark and Fort Collins. What we're looking at is um, HHR is the symbol. It's trading at 54.91, up a dollar 15. So this is what I'm going to recommend that you need to look for. You're already in it, so that's not the issue. The issue is that the MACD is good. Stochastic's not good at 61%. It, it could improve, but it needs a lot of work. Relative strength is is okay, and the and the uh, unbalanced volume has pulled back. That's what you wanted to see, but now it needs to start to rally. 
The nine is nicely above the 14. I'm sure you looked at that. Uh, the kind of action we saw yesterday going into today is exactly what you wanted to see. But the day is young. Anything can happen. Uh, this, this market is having a so very select leadership right now. All of a sudden, you've got your Googles and your uh, uh, you've got stocks that were failing before uh, acting very well. And that's what I mean by a rotational market. I'll be talking about that this afternoon. Now, what is really important about this particular issue is that if it can close, it's not just a matter of breaking above. This is a different pattern because it's a very sharp potential V-shaped turnaround. And someone said in the den, and this is exactly what my thinking was earlier on, when, when I suggested it, that maybe they, they have great demand, but they don't have supply of people wanting to get into this position. I don't think that's true. I think because in the headhunting group, those are the very people that you look for. So I suspect there's a bit of a delay, but I think it will work. But that's on the fundamental side. On the technical side, what I'm going to suggest to you is stay, stay in the position as long as you can. I wouldn't let, if it, if it breaks, if it goes close to your entry point, I don't know. It, it should not fail here. In other words, if this green candle starts to fail by going down to the 5450 area, then all of a sudden it's 5420. I'm just going to say to you, watch it really closely because this is the session between today and tomorrow. These are the two sessions that really need to garner some strength to break out of this Chapman falling axe formation. So if you can see by tomorrow's Wednesday, let's even give it until Thursday. If it can just tag, even this particular one could be momentary, the 55.04 high of the 15th, if it can just tag it and then pull back a little bit and then close above it between uh, any time from today into Thursday, that's exactly what you want to see. Then it's garnering some kind of strength because there are buyers. But if it starts to fail, then I have to say, you know what? I don't know if it's going to work. So this is one of those cases where I'm saying, if you can get from here about another 50 cents higher, that's exactly what you want to, do, want to see. If you see a 50 cents lower, just monitor it really carefully because this for the stock, just purely on a stock basis, on the chart basis, is a moment of truth. It needs to work right now. Hope that helps you. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. So, folks, I thought I'd go to this. I was going to show you a bunch of things. First of all, we've got a caller, who, uh, 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 someone, Peter, wanted to know about the crude oil. I've been discussing crude oil in great detail for the last few days. Uh, I, I'll do it again just for this moment to say crude oil, the MACD is strong. It hasn't turned down. When it turns down in this particular move in the MACD, it's usually a very sharp, sudden red candle. But then the MACD might just touch the red, the green might touch the red line, and then start to move back up again. So I'm, I'm just saying that this is the area that I would expect some kind of a digestive phase, but that expecting and seeing are two different things. And the stochastic flat at 89% is fabulous. On balance, volume is pulled back. Relative strength is good. Any pullback at this particular point, just for the moment, I would have to say is very short term because it could go sideways and hold very well. So I hope I've answered you. And looking at it, I know you wanted to go long. If you had gone long, you'd be, have done quite nicely. But it's a very short term uh, from the from the 80 area to 81.70. It's called even 82. Um, I, I don't think that's the trade because you were even looking at going into the UCO. I don't. I would not become too aggressive right now on the crude oil. I think you'll have an opportunity, but I think you need to wait for a pullback here. So um, that's that. Now, I was going to go through a bunch of our positions because we've really done very nicely in these positions. And of course, we got into the Dow at the low yesterday. So this is for a new trading position to go with our longer term long position. So it's just a trading position. It's done very nicely from the uh, 50, well, 350 level, I think it was. Uh, uh, I should have it right in front of me here. I have it, I have it, I have it. Uh, there it is. Uh, that would be from... Uh, 351.02, uh, and uh, it's trading right now at 353.65. So, yes, that's nice. So, let, let me just do this here. Um, I just got this. Basil, I'm a new subscriber to your newsletter, though I have listened to your show just over a month now. I love your show, so I thought I would get the newsletter. First, thanks for all you do. 
your work is awesome to help uh, awesome to help a new investor like myself thank you I'm in FCX for a small profit and was looking at Carpe. It seems to be pulling back, though it looks uh, strong longer term. FCX did go down on higher volume yesterday, so I was a bit concerned it might go lower. I did get in diamonds yesterday. So sad I was not able to get in you. That was one of our positions, Unity. Uh, we just missed it. We've been trying to get in, and we just missed it. And uh, the 139s is where I wanted. It went to 140, and now it's trading at 148. This is all in, in two days. Uh, so we missed that. We'll have to try again. Uh, and we've got other stocks that we look at. All right. FCA is uh, not able to get in you. Uh, that's Unity. Uh, it looks like a little rocket ship. No worries. Always another trade. Have an awesome day. Also trying to look for an entry point for UNG. So I would like to look at UNG. I wanted to do it yesterday. I completely forgot about it. So NG is the continuous contract uh, for uh, this is natural gas continuous contract. It made a peak F. I love this particular pattern. I call it, do you see this MACD? I call it the double camel hump <laughs> pattern. So the, the reason why I call it that is because the a MACD makes an arch formation, pulls back, and it makes a second arch formation. And then it starts to, to, to rally, and it goes from a peak D, and it pulls back, goes E, and then F. This is exactly like the October of 2007 S&P, when the summer we made that peak D, and then we had just two more peaks, and then we managed to get that final top uh, in October, and then we had that massive pullback. So this is the pattern. Now you've got to be a little bit careful in, in, in G. So I'm just going to recommend, I got stopped out of it a couple of times, missed it, and now it is pulling back on volume as natural gas has pulled back a bit. Great trading, Joe and Tampa. So Joe, I'm just going to say, hold off, uh, maybe it might be just a day, but just hold off on your um, UNG position. Um, we'll, we'll have to see um, how it holds here because it's making the arch formation, which says it might tackle the low that was made in the continuous contract on the 21st of September at 4.802 and it's trading right now at 4.952. So just hold off. And it did make a G slash C in the weekly chart. And there's this big arch formation in the monthly chart. This is a leg B in the natural gas continuous contract. So hold off. This is the winter time. It should be rallying. But right now, just have a little patience because. Um, the risk is that even if it bounces, it's going to have to do retest of the 4.90s. So I hope that helps you. Next question I had was, could I show the chart of um, FANG? So FANG is uh, Diamondback Energy. Uh, it's trading. It went to an extra high. It went to an F. And now it's pulling back. Yeah, I, I agree with those people who think that we're about to get a little bit of a pullback in the people. This is the time and the oil service sector. But it could be just a, a minor pullback at this stage. So I'll be back in a moment. It's trading at 108.77. Uh, I think it's going to rectangle. Watch out for the support. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Just in terms of chart formations, look at this ultra, ultra beauty. Uh, is it Ulta or Ultra? Oh, it's Ulta. Ultra Beauty Inc. Cosmetics uh, traded at 400, 414.96 on August the 26th at peak E. It came down, and I showed you yesterday there was this pattern with the falling axe, kind of an inverted one, but it broke to the upside and was at 410. In the den, one of our wonderful, uh, we got so many, but one of our wonderful, uh, um, these are these are participants in the den who very often give us really good news. And in this particular instance, was saying, Alta looks like a short. And I looked at it and I remember saying, you know, uh, in the beauty area, all the, all the uh, so many rental places in, in downtown, wherever it is you are, uh, are being filled by um, these the salons, these nail salons, etc. And, and I think that Ulta Beauty is in that category. It's doing very well. Well, he was 100% correct in shorting it. I, I personally would have uh, not done it, but he saw a technical, he saw technical weakness. Today it's down 22, down 5% at 383. But it's there not because of the business, but because there was a sudden departure of Mary Dillion. CEO, I you know it's real tough. Congratulations, congratulations, Dan. I mean your eye was perfect. You did it. That was great. Um, that that's what you wanted to do. I I must say uh, I didn't see that kind of technical. So sometimes patterns, double top patterns, occur, and that's what I was saying about in the uh, look the FCX going back to the uh, to the left side high that was made uh, right there at about 39. Uh, that was in. July, and then it comes peak D, Chapman peak Ds, watch them closely, it comes down to 30. Well, eight, eight points, that's, uh, what is that? That's uh, that's about 22%, that's a big move down. And then all of a sudden it finds its legs and it goes to the upside and goes to a peak C. So I think FCX is suggesting, like the, many of the, the charts we're looking at, it's gonna make a high level consolidation. So um, yes, it came down, you know, I use volume very differently. If you use on balance volume, which is what I love, you know, Tom and, and so many people in in the uh, uh, of our hosts use volume, and each one has their own particular uh, characteristic of way of looking at it. I like this in the sense that the price is moving up with all the technicals confirming, not the on balance volume, but it's not negative. It isn't just really positive. So I think at this particular point, I'm suggesting maybe a cup formation in FCX is a possibility. But by this time next week, Tuesday of next week. If it's trading above 40.70, that's really good action. If it's pulled back under 37, it says, uh-oh, timeout. And that's all I would treat it as, as a timeout. All right, let's continue. I wanted to do a couple of things. I got a question about Baidu. Uh, no, FXI. Did not do FXI. FXI is running very nicely. It's in the cup formation. It's up uh, 41.73. It's up 79 cents. 
This is the uh, this is the iShares China Large Cap ETF. This is a good sign after all the bad news we've got. Look at what's happened. Anna Truff G in the weekly chart. We always respect that seventh lowest peak uh, in this particular on the downside. G because that's where you can get a pretty nice bounce. And so far the week is young, but it's over the nine period moving average and the 14 period moving average in the weekly chart. You've got a long way to go to Friday in this particular chart. And I'll just do this real quickly. Baidu, I said, was a much better chart than Baba or any of the others. And here it is. It made a low in the 144 area just two weeks ago. And now it's trading at 174, 30 points higher. I like it. This is a much better chart formation. Um, and I said, uh, I expected it to try to test the left side high that was made back in early September, around about 170. And there it is at 173. I like this action. I think it's going to try for 177s, the 200 period exponential moving average. So there are a couple of things that I was asked about, and I'm going to do it right now. Let me see if I can do it to find everything correctly. Yes. Okay. So in what am I going to do this afternoon? First of all, I am going to show you this because um, it's the only way. How on earth would you even know um, in, anything about why would you want to do a webinar if you know nothing about it? So I, I'll show you today's opening call. I do a quick uh, paragraph here that just gives a summation of where we are. If I've seen anything like a Chapman Wave trend gauge, the, the low trend gauge reading of Friday gave us that negative uh, uh, early morning session yesterday in the Dow. That's what we expected. And I do uh, just a quick cover. And then I go through all our stocks. And then I go look 1 through 16. So you can go 17, 18, it doesn't matter. These are the numbers, the bullet points of what we've got or what we're looking at. So here's my diamonds. We've got the diamonds long from 210.99 back in April the 3rd of uh, 2020. We still have our core position there. We've taken two little bits off. Uh, we've also been trading. Uh, in and out, we had the short side with the DOG. That's the one-to-one -one short. We haven't had it for quite a while now. We've been trading the long side of the diamonds. Let me just go to the diamonds here. And you can see this is the only way you can do, ever do it because otherwise it's just, you know, there's nothing There's nothing to see here. So what we've, we've got is we finally got our leg D in the Dow Diamonds today. So this is where we've got to be a little careful, even though it's a short-term trade. We've got to be a little bit careful. We added D, and we haven't yet gotten above all the left side highs, but it's great action for us at the moment. MACD's good, stochastic's good, on balance volume's just okay. So that's that. Now let me go back to, if I could find it right here. Oops. There. So we've got the diamonds. We're not touching the dog, the DOG one to one just yet. We did have the SQQ, which was short. The, uh, the QQQ is just about a, a point and a half off the all-time high. We took profits on the way down. We're out of that. We're not in it. I've kept it yet just to see what's going to happen over the next few days. There, there could be a sudden turn down. I just don't know if I want to get short at this particular point. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, um, a is for, there we go, A. A is Agilent Technologies Inc. Scientific Solutions for Labs and Businesses. We're long from 70.69 back in April the 3rd of last year. We've taken nice gains all the way up to 109% um, uh, again. And we're still long just, uh, we're long the core position. We've taken little bits off on the way up. We, we took, and then on the way down, we got stopped out just for tiny little positions that I want to keep the call because this is in the, it was in a favorable area. Right now, it could have a longer timeout going from, one seven, from 70 to 179.57 in April. So all I can say is it's on our list. We haven't got any new buys or anything. We're just holding it as a core uh, instrument. And yeah, then we want to look at the next one, which is Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America, BAC, something we've traded ever, for years and years. We've traded it. We've tried to get in maybe in the 20s, and then we run it up to 30, and then we get stopped out for gains. This year, we only got in late a little bit on the 3rd of February at 31.19. We've taken two small bits off at uh, 38 in the 38s and 39s. It's showing at 46.48 right now. There's your leg D with a doji candle with a chance of a peak D being made today. I'm watching this closely because it has to do with interest rates as well as other things. I've loved the banks, Bank of America. Uh, BA 46.48 trading up 20 cents. Leg C in the weekly chart, only a leg C in the monthly chart. One of my favorite areas to be in. 
is, uh, is, is in this case, Bank of America. Wow, we just got a break. And the next one will be DBA. DBA is the uh, DB. This is the DBA cultural fund we're in from 13.77. We're taking a little bit off of 14.93. It's trading right now at 19.16. These are the other grains, the agricultural grains. And we're looking at them trying to form some kind of I'll be back in a moment for the final segment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So let's just go on. So we're looking at uh, the list that I have. And so I spoke about Bank of America, spoke about DBA, GBTC is the Bitcoin. Remember, we got into this uh, Bitcoin, we got in in the 12s for long term and short term positions. We've taken money up all the way up to uh, a 347 percent gain. And we just have a small position left. And I, I missed getting that move to the upside. Even this leg D is a possibility. It's trading at 46.31 right now. So there's been a, a, a huge gain and a, a huge gain missed, actually, even though we've got a small position. It's not as big as I would have liked it. Uh, just real quickly, let's go to uh, GD, which is uh, GD is uh, right there. We've got uh, GD. I just want to make it equal right there. Okay. So what we're looking at is in terms of general dynamics, there is general dynamics, all time high, round number 230, way back in 20, uh, 2018. It pulls back to 100. We're in at 199 uh, just uh, a few days ago, and it's trading now to 207. It hit uh, 208 yesterday. 
So leg C in the weekly, a possible leg D with just about running into resistance. GDX, I told you earlier, we're in GDX um, in the 30, uh, 3074 area. It's at 32.45. Uh, we've got IAA way back from the uh, from the uh, 45s. It's trading at 113. That's the iShares broker dealer and security ETF making an all-time high today. PayX is also making an all-time high today. We're in 113. It's trading at 120. Leg B. Uh, all-time high uh, and then we miss this is the one we missed ah, we missed uh, unity software all the way up i just had chances and we didn't we just missed it a couple of times we've missed it and now it's trading at 147 um yeah well i have to so this is all the stuff that we're going to be doing what to look for coming up in the next period what are we looking at what small single digit price stocks are we looking at all coming up this afternoon four o'clock tonight my subscriber only webinar what's coming up for the rest of 2020 and what sectors are we looking at should be a great uh, webinar i look forward to seeing you there hope you can come check out front page of tfn stay tuned